Bring students, um, for those who will not be coming to school or for those who want to use this to do their SBA, um, this is the video um, for it. One of the videos, um, the first drawing that we are going to do is the, the hook. This is a plain geometry drawing. Before you even um, start, I want you guys to set up your units. U N I T S. Change this to millimeters. You're going to change your precision to 0, 0.0 for this specific exercise. And 0, 0.0 is good. If you want, yes. Uh, nothing else much. My AutoCAD might look a bit different. I'm using the map version. But it's the same way for the Windows version. Alright. So the next thing that you're going to type is limits. L I M I T S. You're going to press enter. The lower left hand corner is asking for it at the screen here. You type 0, 0. Then upper right hand corner, you're going to type 10,000, 10,000. And, and those are your limits. I might move a bit quickly. You can just rewind the video. If there are any comments that you don't understand, there are videos on it on YouTube on my channel. Alright, so let's go. We're going to set up um some layers if you don't know how to do layers the same thing applies videos on youtube i'm going to create some layers we going to call one center line um the, well, let me rename this this other layer will be called um cross line we're going to create another one called hidden line and i'm going to leave this as my default layer let me call one construction line as well so four layers all right all of them this is the line thickness will be on default except for the outline I'm going to put it at one in one zero point five millimeters you can put this to 0 0.7 0 0.4 up to you 0 0.5 is good for me um, the color for the inline I'll change my color to blue center line normally of my yellow construction line magenta all right for the line types, center line, you're going to go to manage. You're going to load all the lines first. Um, center, you're going to load a hidden one again. I don't think I need any more. But for this one, I was selecting a center line, so I choose center line. Ensure that it change here. Um, hidden line, change here. Ensure that it, they are showing here. Line weight, line type, the colors. And so forth. As I said before, go on to the video that is talking about layers if you don't understand how to set up the layers. So once I've done that, I'm ready to draw. Alright, if you look on the drawing that I sent before, let me use my outline. Let me choose a different color. Um, construction line, different color. Alright, so I'm using my default layer and I'm going to draw the two circles at the top. The first one is 45. So if I draw the circle and see bigger just zoom out. I'm going to move my circle forward by grabbing the center. So it's out of the way of this. Alright. Alright, so this is the first circle second circle is sharing the same center give me a minute let me look at the drawing uh, all right so notice it's a 45 radius um 90 diameter that's why i use 45 radius 
and the other one says 45 diameter so I'm using 22.5 radius and those are the two circuits if you notice there's a 175 millimeter space between the centers of the circles at the top and at the bottom so I'm going to create my center line then I'm going to draw a line downwards but this line should be 178 I'm going to also draw a line across in the center now this will not be any specific length and the same thing down here I'm going to make mine a bit longer if you look on the drawing you will see the line that I'm drawing so this is 178 um, so I'm going to go back to the zero line or my default layer line I'm going to draw another circle with the diameter of 45 if you look at the drawing you will see it right here using this center then I'm going to take my center line again and measure 22.5 going across 22.5 going across this is another center line I'm going to use this as the center now to draw another circle right here and this circle as you can see on the chart, the radius is 90, so I can go ahead and type 90 because it gives me the radius. I've used the incorrect layer here. I should have used this layer. Basically, I'm using this layer as for construction layer, so I didn't have to create another. It's up to you what you want to do. All right. Um, so if you notice, it's starting to look a bit like it. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, trim off here and here I don't need these parts all right so after doing that if you notice there are there's an arc going this way and the arc going this way all right and if you notice there are two arcs pointing to those arcs indicating the radius of those arcs which are 45 each and they connect so this is what I'm going to do from this point where the arc is I'm going to measure 45 And this is another center line 45 from here where the mouse is to this line then from here where this the mouse is now we're going to measure 45 also right so this point is 45 from this while this point is 45 from this and at those points you are going to draw by the circle or let me change the layer we're going to draw a circle which is 45 which will touch here because the distance is 45 and from here so this circle the center of this circle is here the center of this second circle will be here and you get those parts so I'm going to do some trimming here now so I'm going to trim here hold on here 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 and here so now I have this curve all right so now that I have this curve if you notice um, it's not pointed as how I have it should have a curve so I'm going to click on the fillet command fillet command after clicking on the fillet command I am going to press R for radius because I want to specify the radius and if you look on the drawing, it says R6 at that curve. So I'm going to type 6, then enter. Then what I'm going to do is click on each one of the lines. Once you have done that, you'll see it will be round. Right? So once you have done that, then you're good to go with that part. Um, Continue. You need some at a line here. All right. So this is what I should have done. Uh, all right. I'm going to leave this. All right. So you need. This is a circle. This is a circle. In grade ten, I, um, we were supposed to learn about tangents to to different circles. This is. These are two equal circles. 
and there's a tangent line in between that, that is drawn here, somewhere about, somewhere about, uh, hold on, here, right, that line is an internal tangent because part is on the left, part is on the right, and the circles are equal, so it's an internal tangent to two equal circles. This is how you do it. This so is this line right here, we are going to cut it in two. So you're going to pull it down to the center mark. Let me go back and center. And I'm going to draw it upward. So I have two lines instead of one. Just because I want to find the halfway mark. And you notice it's not right here. Not at the edge of the circle here. It's a little bit up. And the aim for doing that is to get the quarter line here. Alright. So at this point, I'm going to use an arc command. Let's go back to our original line use the arc command because I want to draw a semicircle over this side right at this midpoint of this half of line so right at the midpoint if you notice when I click arc it is asking me to specify the start point of the arc or center so I'm going to press center C for center then press enter because I want the center um, so I'm going to click here then I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the circle this is the start point, and you go anti-clockwise because you don't work the other way. See, don't work the other way. I don't want to go And then right at the end, you click it at the end of the line. So you're swinging a heart here. There's another way you could have done this. You could have just drawn a circle right at the same point and trim off one half. Anyway, that's easier for you. And then you're going to do the same thing. Arc again. Find the midpoint of the next of this bottom line here and you click arc then you press c enter then you specify the center of the arc then you click the lower line lower part of the line and you do the same thing anti-clockwise if you try to do it click tap and go down it it, 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 won't, it won't work or it will work so you have two arcs now and this is what those two these two arcs will give you you see wherever and this is what I want to do from now. Go to your outline now. If your outline, you click your outline line and you're going to click right here where the semicircle touches this circle to where the semicircle touches the other circle. This line should be thick. The reason why it's not thick because you have not turned on um, outline. See, mine is on now. If you're not seeing this icon, there are three lines on your computer. Right over this side here where the mouse is now, it's not on mine, it's a different version of AutoCAD. You're going to click that, you're going to see a pop-up menu and ensure that line weight is ticked. Then you will see this icon here, then you can turn it on or off. Alright, if you want, you can start um, changing some things to outline. Like for example, these, you can turn them to outline. If you don't know how to do this, skip back the layer of videos. And let me show you one way you can do that. You press ME, Match Properties, that stands for Match Properties, then Enter. Click on the original line that you want everything else to look like, then you click on all other lines and it will turn it to be converted to the layer of the first line. Now you're going to need to trim off some more areas, like for example here and here. Now let's go a bit further. You have another tangent. You're going to click outline again. And there's a command that I have a function that you need to turn on. It's, there's O slap over here. You right click it. Ensure that tangent is on. Mine is on. Right? Right here. O slap. Tangent. Now you go back. Then you're going to click. Find the center of this circle. And then touch it out here. And if you notice the tangent sign is on. And you click there. TR enter right and you trim off that one right so these circles can now be turned into outline circles right the final thing that you need to do is to put the, the, the curve here there's a curve that needs to come here as, as you can see on the drawing um the curve is 32 so this is how you normally get the curve you're going to go to offset type 32 and the curve touches the this straight line and this circle so both of them will be offset 32 i'm going to turn them into construction lines right 
So this point where the circle now meets the arc or the line, sorry, you are going to select circle using outline, select a circle, command, then you put the circle here, then you are going to type 32 because the arc is supposed to be 32 and if you notice it will touch, it will touch both this line and this circle. Then you can go ahead and trim what you don't need. Trim what you don't need. Zoom in, trim. You can do the rest of this. And there you have it. You have your hook. Um, some person, now you can go ahead and delete back this line, extend back this line further so it look like how it should look on the drawing. Alright, now well, this may look a bit little confusing. So you can turn off this layer and you have the dimension layers are supposed to be on. If you notice the dimension lines are, the, 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 the spacing between them is are too, uh, between the, the, the center lines are too small. So this is what you do. You just change the scale down here. There are two ways to do it. Change the scale down here or change the line, the line type scale in properties. Line type scale, you right click the line, then you go to properties. Then you go over this side where well, your properties might be different. Look for line type scale. Let me put 10 and if you notice mine change. Let me undo that. There's another way you can change the scale right here as well. And then you go to let me see all 20 looks. When I change the scale here, it doesn't change same time. You have to type region. R-E-G-E-N. Enter. Now that is how I want it. You can now go ahead to dimension. You know how to use the dimension. If you don't know how to use it, please. Um, oh, yes, that's another layer that I should have created. Some dimension. And then when you create a dimension layer, you can go ahead and dimension your drawing. You need to put the measurements. Um, The dimensions might be too small. You notice it's very small. So this is what you are going to do. You are going to go in um, dim style. D I M S T Y L. -E. Then you go to modify. Mine looks a bit different. You will see modify right as you go there as a type dim style. Modify. There are some parameters to change. I'm going to change my text to about. Let me see what 5 looks like. Um, change it to 5. Arrow size to about 5 as well. This is a trial and error for now. The offset from the dimension line. This is how far the dimension comes off the drive. To about 5. The text. Our primary units. Precision. I'm going to put 0. Um, yes. And then go back to text, ensure that it's click aligned with dimension line, and then ensure that to click above right here. And let's see what happens so far with what I changed. Right, so this I can use this now. So ensure that I select dimension line, then I can click back on my dimension line, then I can put on the measurements that I'm seeing. I'm seeing 22 here between this line and this line. But this is saying 23 for some reason. I don't know why. Unless I put 22.5, but it's supposed to be 22. This is supposed to be 22. This is supposed to be 22. So when you're drawing this, ensure that it's 22. Alright. Um, there are some other measurements uh, that are on the drawing. You are going to change the dimension thing to radius dimension or diameter dimension. So like for, for example this, show the diameter, this, show the diameter, this, diameter. Um, so you can change it to radius as well. So you show radius. Uh, let me show 
radius 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 so I'm clicking on where I want to show the radius all right um, let me see if there's anything else I'm uh, missing off oh yes radius and there you have it you have drawn this drawing successfully when you are finished you can just save the drawing remember you're drawing this drawing along with two other drawings in the play in one so you're going to have two more drawings beside this so stay tuned for the other drawing and have a good day